I guess we're officially going to start at like 7 Hold on, time I'll tell you. I'm going to get it set up. That's what you were doing last time I saw you. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> never, it just doesn't stop. Okay, our first order of business is um, we sent, Larry sent out minutes for the last two meetings. And you guys read them? I briefly reviewed the uh, the most recent. The most recent, which was July? July, yeah. Okay, so we'll take that one first. Because I wasn't at that okay. meeting. So. so the July meeting, you read the minutes? Sure. Uh, motion to approve. I'm still trying to get set up here. For oh, all right. Approve. <laughs> Approved. So you made a motion? Yes. To yes. Approve? Okay, second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, approved. How about the minutes for June 26th? Motion to approve. Approved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Approved. All right. Barry has some notes. Um, Right now we have 55 vendors signed up. That's about typical for this time. However, I just picked up the mailbox and those are vendor applications. So there's another 30 of them now. So um, we're doing pretty well. Um, so we're, we're somewhere around 80 vendors if you count that as a rough guess. Um, a lot of them wait till the last minute to sign up because they want to see what the weather's going to look like. <laughs> even, though, even though you can't predict that far ahead. <clears throat> okay, uh, another thing that she has is we were contacted by the, the um, Douglas baseball softball mm -hmm. guys that run through this field. They had said that they were going to do their parking like they did last year over there. Yeah. And they're going to open the... the um, bathrooms over there to take care of the people that park over in the field. Yep. Uh, we did have a vendor last year that didn't, um, he just set up a tent wherever he wanted. <laughs> and um, and he's, uh, we did tell him at the end of last year that he was not going to be welcome back um, because, you know, he's set up a tent. And he said, okay, I'm going to be a vendor this year. Where did so, he set up? Um, he's, he's requested, he's, he's formally requested a site this year. Okay. And so um, Mary wanted to bring that up. Um, I think that, it, you know, if, if he agrees to follow um, the rules, then you know, we can sign up for a site and right. give him a shot. Let's see. Right? What, what, has he submitted paperwork yet? Uh, yes, what? he's submitted paperwork. What's the... I can't, she didn't write down his name. What's, what does he sell or what's he collecting or? I don't, I don't have that information. It's just that he, he sold something. It wasn't that we disapproved of his site, we just disapproved of his method. He sells okay. tents. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We do have, we have a vendor that applied. We talked about it last time, okay. Um, they do permanent jewelry. Now, what that is, is they take a bracelet and they weld it to the person's hand. <laughs> or um, the jewelry now, to itself, not to the... Yeah, yeah they that's don't weld it to the skin. <laughs> they, to the skin. They weld it to the... But in other words, it's, it, there's no clasp. They kind of join it together with some type of welding. Um, we, we had decided that we were going to run that by the Board of Health in Douglas. You know, because we've never had anything like that before. We don't know how to deal with that. And then um, we run it by you guys. <laughs> um, we kind of looked it up. It's like really low voltage stuff. There is some eye protection that you have to use, though, when you do it. So, um, you know, um, we don't really know how to address that without you know, some guidance from, like, you guys. Yeah, we'd have to look that up as well. That's a new one on us, so. All right. <coughs> Do we have some videos on YouTube? Yeah, it's so not like mm -hmm. make or take welding. It's true. It's like it looks like a soldering iron. Yeah. Type yeah. It's, um, anyway, if you do a, a, a YouTube video of 
you know, permanent, permanent jewelry, jewelry process or something. And, and, um, but anyway, so <coughs> they're waiting for a response back from us, but we told them we'd have to, you know, we gotta reach out to people that, It takes a, it takes a village. Hmm? <laughs> it takes a village. It takes a village, <laughs> to yes. To approve it, yeah. All right. Um, it's a um, trending, really? Instagram, TikTok trending thing. Yeah. So I say it'll be untrending in the next year or two. It won't be an issue anymore. <laughs> Give it two years. Yeah, okay. Right. And then... Do, 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 do. Um, that's pretty much all I have from Mary. Okay. Closing the road and other concerns from the fire department slash police department. I mean, I can't speak for the police, but uh, <coughs> I think we've got it pretty down pat. <laughs> you know, we put a fire engine on each end of the street, the ambulance on one end of the street. You know, we have people roving throughout the event which we'll do again this year. Mm -hmm. um, speaking with Highway, we'll do the same signage and what have you as we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. We did a lot more signage last year, and yeah. I think that worked out well. Yeah, for parking and stuff? Sure. So the parking, well, I, it's probably more the police chief than you. Yes. Right. So the parking, the plans for, is, as far as you know, are going to be the same as what we did last year? That's as far as I know. You know, I think you guys used the school. Mm -hmm. And shuttled some people, and Soldiers Field did very well down there with the yeah, and they baseball said they were softball do it group, yeah. which was good. Um, did we have any feedback or complaints or anything from anyone last year? Um, as far as parking, not that I'm aware of, but again, I can't speak for Chief yeah. Miglianico. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, the extra signage, it takes a lot longer to set up and what have you, but I think it's worth it in the long run, you know. Yeah, it seemed like we had the traffic seemed to flow. flow Pretty good last year. Um, and we did keep the tractor trailers away. I know we've I've reached out to the state because I'm still working partly with the highway department to get the message boards out there early to mm -hmm. let people know that the trucks know Main Street's closed in Douglas for that day, mm -hmm. and they've agreed to do that again for us. We did have an issue at the end of the event um, moving the uh, highway department truck closest to the goodness store. Mm -hmm. um, I guess nobody nobody knew at four o'clock to move it and then okay. we were trying to hunt someone down. Uh, then they were trying to find the key. So okay. we'll make sure that if we have a plan in place for it. someone's job sure. to yeah. get that puppy yeah, out of there. There'll be someone from the highway down there all day long. So. Are we still going to have like the emergency command post up at the school like we have last um, year? We're in talks of that right now. Yeah. Okay. Do you have anything for us? I do. Okay. Um, just wanted to talk a little more about uh, um, what we did last year. We started doing last year. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to another successful Oktoberfest. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we want to make this as safe as possible. I mean, it seems to grow a little bit each year, which is great. Um, just want to be safe for the patrons, vendors, first responders, all the people there. Um, we want to assist by making sure the vendors comply with, you know, any fire codes or what have you. Anyone cooking with oil, uh -huh. um, <clears throat> the pop-up tents aren't too close to the flames and they're fire retardant or what have you. So we were looking, and, and we're looking, we're working hand in hand with the Board of Health and the um, building inspector on uh -huh. this stuff. Um, so we're looking for a list of possibly possible vendors that could be cooking with oil, food trucks, people that have propane stored in their vehicles, just so we can come up with a checklist. We can contact them before the event. That way there, there's no surprises the day of the event. You know, but we're not out to put anyone out of business. We want to work with everyone, but we want to do it safely, you know, for, for all involved. So if, I don't know if that, that's possible. So you, you, want, oh, you want a list of the food, uh, anything <coughs> possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you you want a list of food vendors? Food that vendors are cooking with oil. Cooking th that are cooking, and then we can 
figure out. You I'll know. tell you right off the bat, fire department, they're a pain in the Oh, I know those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know the guy who used to run that booth. <laughs> I'll talk to them. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, I don't know exactly how many because, honestly, I've never left my corner all the years we've had this because yeah, it gets so yeah. crazy. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and we'll do an inspection that morning of, yeah. like we did last year. We started doing that last yeah. year. And knock, on, knock on wood. Yeah, okay. Agreed. Um, that, you know, we've, we've been doing, we've had this for uh, quite a few years sure. already, and we haven't had any nope. issues down nope. there. Um, so. <clears throat> I know I, I know the goal is to keep everyone safe, but we right. we kind of do we kind of do work out for everything. Oh, and I know you guys uh, do a great job with that. All right, so you'd like a list of a list of the food vendors yep. that have oil or any kind of cooking, just so cooking. we can determine if they need any uh, a fire extinguisher or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. we have stuff there, but. We can't be everywhere all the no, time. No, no. Something I, I, happens. We we've actually added that on our thing. That's where awesome. If yeah. they have any heating at all, mm -hmm. heating is what I call, yeah. call that. Yeah. Or electrical, I require them to have a fire extinguisher. Yeah, that's right. right. That's, that's part great. of their yeah. that's part of their booth. Yeah. So um, we're going to keep that rule. It's if they have any kind of heating or sure. electrical use at all, they yeah. have a fire extinguisher. Okay. Good. All right. So, and then I also made uh, things that. One of the problems that I have is, is that I have people hook into the panel with the wrong rated cord. You know, they they have yeah, they have a 15 dangerous. amp they have a 15 amp cord and they're going 100 feet with it. Mm -hmm. You know, and then they plug 15 things in the end sure. of it. Yeah. You know? yeah. So so you yeah, know, we want to keep away from the uh, yeah. any dangerous situations yeah. with the so, electrical so or. I've re I've changed our our rules so that they they require to have a 20 amp 100 mm -hmm. foot cord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, rated for 20 amps yeah. to plug into our panel, so. Um, and that's a building inspector question if that's if that's what he wants or the electrical inspector, but. Yeah, well, all yeah. all of my uh, okay. my uh, ground fault breakers in that panel are all 20 amp. Okay. I have I have um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, ten circuits in there. I think 10 or 15 circuits mm -hmm. in that panel. Mm -hmm. So is that so something we check like the morning of? Like are we uh, are we checking to make sure that they have the proper cord, or we're just? I do when I plug them in. I, okay. Like they run them, but they're not they're not well, they're not supposed to plug them in themselves. Yeah, they're supposed to have supposed to have one of us there to plug it mm -hmm. in, okay. so that we can look at the cord. I also require that they put their name on it, so that you know there's a tag or duct tape or something on there with their name because when it's in the panel, I can't. I don't know where the hell it goes. There's sure. 15 of them running on top of each other out, right. out there. Okay. So I ne need to be able to see where it goes. Okay. So I've had that kind of stuff. So we have added different requirements for these guys on, as they yeah, go. Yeah, that's great. All right. So. <clears throat> but if um, we could do that, that'd be great. And then, um, you know, we've been, we've had actually a few food trucks come to the high, uh, highway fire station <laughs> um, for inspections. So, you know. There is a state checklist that we can. Yeah, you know. we don't. We don't uh, at Oktoberfest. We don't do food trucks. Okay. okay. I know the raised French fry guys there, but uh, yeah. I don't know if he's considered yeah, that, a food truck or no, trailer. That, that food, food trailer. 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 Hey. Yeah. 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 The yeah. only um, the only things that we've done that work anything like that is that we had the raised French fry guy, um, and then last year we had the ice cream. Um, ice cream. No. No. Um, was it? We had the pulled pork guy or something. Didn't uh, we? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the barbecue guy. Oh yeah, the smokehouse. Yeah, the smokehouse. Yeah. The smokehouse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are the only two things that we've ever mm -hmm. done like that. We and most of those people go from town to town and they comply because they have to anyway. Because they have know. to anyway. Yeah. But uh, we just want to be sure that it's all being done here for everyone's safety. Again, yeah. not out. We want this successful. We want people to come back. Mm -hmm. You know, um, but we just want to make sure it's safe. That's all. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sounds like a plan. All right. That's all I had. Great. All right. <coughs> Anything else? That's it for me. All right. So Easy. we'll um, we'll work on that. Yeah, and I know it's a little bit early in the game to get the whole list together because yeah, it, it, people it gets still a little difficult with that one because we're signing up food vendors like right up until like two weeks before the sure. event. Sure. But know? that still gives us enough time to reach out. So. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> All right. So I'll run that by Mary, and we'll figure that out. Okay. 
the, the top of the list though is the fire department guys. I'd go after no those guys. Out. They're rough. <laughs> 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 so, so for like the Boy Scouts, Boy Scout troop, the Friday booth. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've been doing like they they do. Uh, Friday, I think. Friday, yeah. uh, oil. Mm -hmm. So, what requirements would you put on that? Um, just the extinguisher, and they're not going to burn. A, I don't know if they do a canopy tent or not. Do a canopy over the top because in the water the, and oil don't. And you don't. Stuff. You don't want water in there. No. Nope, no. Nope. So. But we um, just don't want to catch, if it's a nylon cheapy tent, uh, it'll take right off and burn like uh, like crazy. So that's all. It's, uh, we've, it's used, we've used that same awning, that exact same awning for like 16 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I know most of them have a tag season. on them tell tell you what they're rated for. So. Uh, okay. Well, that one's so old that there's no more rating on mm -hmm. it. So. <laughs> it's well seasoned at this point. There you go. Yeah. You, but you guys can look at it, and, sure. you, and you've seen it before, so, yep. yeah. All right. <coughs> All right. Okay. Well, thank Sorry. you guys for having me. Yeah, thanks, you. Yeah. Thanks for showing up. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Go home and have some dinner. You know it. <laughs> have a good night, everybody. Right. Thank you. Thanks, you. Okay. So, we we'll take them to the... All right. Oh, oh, actually, we got one more thing for you. Sure. Container. Yes. Yes. We, uh, not long ago, okay, we got, um, a, a, we went to the border of selectmen mm -hmm. because we needed uh, we needed more storage. We have that little container that's actually next to the old fire oh, barn sure. yep. that's been there. Um, so we... We got permission, and they actually voted on it and approved mm -hmm. to get put a second container aside of the first one. It's there, so I just wanted you to be aware that we're eventually going to do that. Okay. All right. So, so on, uh, and that's right to the right, to right side of the old fire station. If you're facing the building. You're facing the building. When we get the old one there, it's going to go right up against the other one, mm -hmm. and then once we get them in there and stuff, we're going to repaint them green or something so they kind of blend into the background. Okay. But. Um, so we're going to put a second unit there. Yeah. Um, so all of a sudden when it shows up, I don't want you guys to like panic. Right? Okay. <laughs> Try, trying to coordinate yeah. it for this week, hoping that's the case. Um, the, the transportation company has done a site visit to the Fish and Game Club to kind of see where, where it is, okay. this and that, and then went to the old fire station to see where it has to go. So um, it's just a matter of tying up the logistics part, which has been a bit of a challenge, but sure. trying for this week. Okay. So. Thanks for letting me know. All right. Yeah. All right. So, so yeah, so I, I put a call out today, because I was supposed to hear this morning, if, uh, if you'd be able to do it this week, left my voicemail, um, told them I have a meeting tonight and would love to, you know, have a plan for when that can take place, but I didn't get a call back from them yet, so. Because that's our time is actually getting kind of short for that because yep. what we wanted to use that also as an opportunity to go through what we have existing and do some repairs on some yep. of the stuff that we need to. Yep. So we want to weekends are running. Mm -hmm. no. um, <coughs> all right. Entertainment. You sent me this like awesome looking list. Yeah, yeah. So I can start working on it. Yes. You when, can are you start. Gonna, when are you going to let me release it? You can release it. Release what you've got. Okay. Um, and then we'll just put a note on it that it's subject to change. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So entertainment update. Um, main stage is booked. Um, full. We're full for the day for main stage. We've got some great acts. Um, some repeaters, some new folks. Um, Douglas, the, the high school chorus is performing again. Mm -hmm. We've got Vito C, um, who is local and he's played for a bunch of years. He um, played with, um, he, he uh, took lessons at Blackstone Valley Music for a bunch of years and he's back in the area and playing again. So he's playing in the morning. We've got 
Um, yeah, some great people playing on the main stage. Um, beer Garden's all set. We've got two acts for the day. Um, Seamus and Company playing in the morning, and then x Tet playing in the afternoon. Seamus and Company is like covers, guitar, drums, covers. Have you ever played in the Beer Garden before? No, they're first timer. Mm -hmm. um, and then x Tet has played before, but it's been a couple years. Mm -hmm. They're a jazz fusion, um, tons of energy. They're great. Um, second stage down by the goodness store is good. Um, I've got space if uh, I get someone else, but it's good for now. We've got dance sensation in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Ed the magician, Ed the wizard, doing a forty-five minute stage show, dog racing, and then Ed the magician doing another forty-five minute show in the afternoon. It's also the touch-off point for the larger than life. And parade. it's the touch-off point for the larger than life parade, which I'll get to in a second. Um, and then where I have where I have openings is stage C, um, the Olive Branch Lodge, which I'm looking for like singer songwriter one person small acoustic stuff. I haven't I've e your brother in law? Mm -hmm. I've emailed him twice and I haven't heard back from him. Okay. Josh. Yeah, he he told I asked him if he had been in touch with you. Um, he said he did see an email and then he responded. I think it was like a week and a half ago. Huh. But. Maybe just check and see if... I got nothing from him. Okay. Maybe nudge him or... Do okay. number? Yeah, I can, can uh, give, my, can give you his my number. number. Yeah. Okay. Um, Bear's all set. Um, I've got... So we've got Bear in the main stage. Uh, I've got Matt, Guy Singer, running sound on stage C, who's done it for the past few years for us. He's great. He's self-sufficient, takes care of himself, which is wonderful. Um... And then I confirmed with my guy at Franklin High School for Larger Than Life Parade. Mm -hmm. He's in, he's interested, their game. He's going to work with his students in one of his honors classes to choreograph it. Um, so I sent him the contract today, sent him a whole bunch of info, sent him the music, pictures of the puppets, all that stuff. Um, and what I also offered to him too is I said, hey, we have time and space on second stage. If your kids want to do a practice performance of one of their musicals or shows, like, I'll pay a little extra money, like, great, go for it. So if they decide to do it, great. If not, that's fine too. We don't need to cram that stage. Um, I think that's it for, like, stage stuff. Um, reached out to, um, so, uh, we have a, we have a tentative yes from Rhoda for the the driveway for the cars. Mm -hmm. um, last time we left off, I just need to I want to be able to show her our insurance and her on it. Yeah, or whatever. I've asked I've asked for those from. Uh, okay. Um, so as soon as you can get me something, I'll show it to her and yep. get it okay. Yep. Um, so I reached out to In Gear, their game to do the car show again. So did you need anything else from me? I said, nope, just let us know where it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So once I get a solid yes from Rhoda, after we show our paperwork, then um, I'll confirm within gear, but that, that should be good to go. Uh, if, we, if we're if we not able to use Rhoda's place, then we'll, we'll start thinking about plan B. But Is there a cap on how many cars can yeah. do that? What do we put in there? Like 10 or 12, 15 10, tops? 10 or 12. And they get in how? How do they get in with... They drive in with they, all the vendors. They drive in first with, thing. Yep. And oh. they yeah. Take a left. Somewhere and they're around, there all day. Yeah. Okay. Before seven, usually. And then they 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 can't leave at all, right? They're, no, no, they're, they're, they're all, all okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, cool. They don't leave until about four when the street opens back up to let the vendors in. Yeah. Sure. Um. I've given you contracts mm -hmm. for a bunch. There's more to come in, but you've got some there. Mm -hmm. There's bears in there. Bears is in there. Yes. Yes, it's on top. Um, I so sent you a schedule of where things are at right now. Mm -hmm. The only thing that should change, the only thing that should change would be the addition of acts to stage C, to the olive branch stage. Otherwise, everything else should be set. Right. So go with what you have, write it up. What about... Is there is there anyone like some of these performers we've had before? Yeah, and some of them we yep. haven't. Yep. So, so bios. I do you need me to send you repeat bios? 
Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll send it. Yeah, because some of them should be updated, you know, like, yeah, okay. reach out to these guys and tell them, just fire them out and say, give us a short, okay. you know, like two or three sentence bio. Blur. Yeah, bio. Blur. And then, yep. you know, a picture. And okay. Because I'd, I'd really like to update it, you know, even the ones that sure. we've had before. So what is that going to the program? Yeah. Okay. It it would be aw it would be mm -hmm. awesome if I can get the program out a couple of weeks before the event, you know. Um, Which is why I made the push to get you the stuff now, yeah, so yeah. we're not dealing with this. In the yeah. So third week. If September. I can, if I can, if I can get this produced and you know and stuff before you know before the event happens, so you know like I don't have to wait till the last week because mm -hmm. that makes it really, really tough. Yeah. Then we can send them out and create some hype. Yeah. You know? okay. Um. <coughs> Let's see, what else? Um, all right, so that's that. Um, so Ed, Ed the Wizard is going to be doing the same thing he's done all <coughs> before. He's going to work all day in the street. Um, he does balloon animals, he does street magic, and then he does two 45-minute sets, shows for us, which is great. Um, and the same price, too. His price hasn't gone up, and Bear's price hasn't gone up, which is great. Yep. But, you know, you shouldn't always okay. expect that they're going to so, be the same price. So there's a, there's a couple, uh, there's things that we need for the state, Yes. Okay. Oh, that's the other thing. I sent you a long list of audio. Yeah. Can you stuff? send me that again? Sure. Yeah. I'll because send you again. well, it got uh, you know yeah, in the last right. three weeks it got buried in there. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. send it to you again. Yeah. Um, and then if you want to just order all the audio stuff, yep. I'll take care of buying the other stuff: the duct tape, the extension cords, the multi plugs, right. and and the cases. Okay. Does that work? You, the case is going to be big enough so that they hold... Um, the only things they won't hold are the speaker, the the microphone stands, just because they're really long. But everything else they should hold. They'll hold the soundboard, they'll hold the cables, they'll hold the um, microphones, they'll hold the multi-plugs, they'll hold all the all right. duct tape, all the... Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to Home Depot and I'll buy the the black, you know, ones that are twenty gallons or something like that. Mm -hmm. Does that work? All right. Yeah. So so then the only thing that I'll have to do is the electronic thing from your list. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think I gave All you right. a list from Sweetwater. And yeah. it's um. Yeah. All right, and then, um, and then you're gonna use both of my portable sound systems. Yes. Okay. One. one yeah. From one state, so yeah. I can pack them up. So obviously it won't hold the speakers but it'll hold the boards well those both those sound systems pack up okay. so that when they do the speakers are part of like yeah one of those units when it packs up the speakers are reversed and yeah, yeah part of the show yeah. yeah yeah so uh one of the speak the other one i gotta buy stands for because i don't have i think i put them on the list speaker stands yeah because yeah. yeah i had it on my list so um <coughs> What else did I have? Um, oh, the other thing I included in the email today f to you was check amounts. Oh, you did? I did. Okay. For everyone that you have so far? For everyone. All right. Period. Period. Um, All right. There are two acts who are using managers, and I don't know yet who the checks will be made out to. Okay. But I'll update it. I'll, yeah, you won't be able to make out the check yet because you don't know who it is. So, yeah. Um, but I'll, I'll as soon as I get those names and who the checks get made out to, I'll. Yeah. Well, you have them in that. hand that day anyway. Yeah. That's that's the goal. But yeah. I can make them up ahead of time if. I'm so you should be able to start writing checks for if you want because you've got the the list. Yeah. There. And then these these are important because the cultural council is paying for a portion of. So that okay. should get you started. Yeah. So. <coughs> um, I okay. Oh, one last thing uh, is dog racing. I do not have a confirmation yet on dog racing. I've reached out a few times to Ron. You haven't, haven't heard from him? Haven't got a hold of him yet. I'll keep trying though. Okay, so there was something about a gate too, because last year, late last year, yeah. he came looking for parts of a gate or something, yeah. thinking we had it, and I don't, didn't think we did. No, they have the gate, we have the rest of the course, he's got okay. the gate. Um, 
it's pretty low on the list. It's functional. It's not great, but it's functional. Uh -huh. So I think if we don't get to it this year, so be it. We run with what we have. But the problem is when it, that is, is that once we, the event is over, and then we scatter and go back into our normal <laughs> lives for a while. Yeah, I'll then, say it again next September. Yeah, then next September, when next September comes around, and we never get a chance to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Was the issue with the gate? It's just it, it's too small. Like it doesn't. It's poorly designed. Um, so they have, if I remember right, they have like two poles like two metal poles that stay on the ground and then um, like a PVC setup that rides over the poles and it takes two people to pull it up at the same time okay. up the poles and s it falls apart. If it gets pulled and stretched, it doesn't go, if they don't pull it up at the same rate, yep. it gets jammed. Um, a much better setup would just be to have like two by four that swings the gate forward. Um, so one person can swing the gate forward or two people can swing forward and it opens up like this, but that takes a little bit, you know, it takes a work and a trip to Home Depot and a weekend to work together. Okay. But we have more pressing things, which is like, yeah, we do. you know, so it's low on the list. So, so the, sorry, Steve. Okay. So dog racing is, queued up it's in the lineup it's, queued up it's just to happen. the the hopes of modifying that that gate no the gates it's getting in touch with ron from dog orphans ron at dog orphans facilitates everything about the dog racing okay and we just we make it happen the day up well we don't make it happen he we he we, actually runs it we kind of set it up Help we set it up we set it up for we him narrate and it and we have the track going kind of runs it and then okay yeah. Yeah. And it's good for them. It's good publicity. They, um, you know, it's good publicity for them. And and it's, it's a great event. I mean, yeah, it's, oh, it's fun. And yeah. the people come and line up, four people deep, fifty feet along the course to watch little, little wiener yeah, ducks. Watch these little wiener dogs. <laughs> <run. Yeah. laughs> and invariably, one of yeah. them takes a dookie on the, <laughs> on the course. And it's, it's fun. It's a very stressful moment. <laughs> <laughs> so those little legs and little legs. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, at some point, we will have to chat to get the puppets to Franklin. Yes. And you know, however many you want to take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I probably mean. get them back because they're pretty big to transport, right? Right. So I won't. I don't. It fills up your van. I don't want to assume. Whoever, you know, I don't want to put it on someone to have them to yeah, bring it yeah. back. Well, if, if we were going to take them down there so that they can do them, because they're all, they're, they work different, but they're all they're the same. same. They're all the same. So what will happen is that we only need to take one or, or two, you know? Sure. Uh, you take a two of them so that they can play with them and stuff. Yeah. And then, then. Yeah, you know, we'll, then we'll take them. Yeah. Yeah. Give them for a couple weeks or something. Yeah, yeah. give them to them for a couple weeks. They can, they can. You know, that way they can see how they move and, you know, that type of stuff. So Would it be to ideal to send all of them there? Like, how many are there? I have I have nine of them. It's plus the... Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. But you wouldn't send all nine. Because then you got to transport them back. The things are, for, you know, they're nine feet tall. Okay. <laughs> they take, take up literally, like, yeah. all, all of his van. Well, I was, like, I have a neighbor who's got a enclosed Harley trailer. Yeah. Like, with that... Yeah. I have I, ha I have I have um, a Grand Caravan too. I take the back seat out and I can put them in because they, they go right up you know, the center thing. So even lengthwise they fit in there. Okay. And that's how I actually store them before the event. I drive the van down there with all the puppets in there right next to the stage mm -hmm. and then I can open them up. Okay. And, you know, we can you can open it up. Yeah. yeah. But for the yeah. school's purposes, they yeah. just need... You need the keys to open it. They need the keys to open it. Yeah, the keys will be down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, what a I, stressful I, moment. No, I, 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 I know. I fixed that though because there's a little hidden key on the van. Now there is. Yeah. Now there now is. There is. Yeah. So I can say, "Hey, look at the key here," <laughs> and you'll find the key. Oh my god. Um, so <laughs> why don't we plan on school picks up um, next week? Why don't we plan on? I'll check in with Skyler, and then in a week or two. 
try to get puppets down to Franklin if you can do it. Mm -hmm. Couple three, and then yep. we'll let him deal with them for a few weeks. And mm -hmm. sound okay. good. Yep. Okay. Let me know when that happens. I can help pack them in and go yeah. for the ride and yeah. unload them. I'm trying to free up my weekends now for yeah. everything, or even during the week. Okay, anything else? I did find, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you remember you purchased uh, like those black hoodies, right, to cover that? Yeah. Okay. Well, I did find the original yeah. black hoodies that we had yeah. that actually say "Larger Than Life" on the yeah, back. Nice. Yeah. So. So now we have lots of hoodies. They're printed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I want Skylar. So, so I have those as well. So, so that'll be part of that outfit. <coughs> All right. Ready, ready to continue? Uh, beer garden. Yes. Talk about beer garden. Let's talk about that. Um, that's pretty much signed up. I submitted the paperwork for the license. Um, you know, all of the application. Uh, Got to go to one of the selections meetings. There's two left, I believe, before um, the event. They do two meetings a month. One of those meetings just got a look at an application. And a, I haven't found out which one yet, but. Uh, one of them will. So then when they notify you and then you just have to be yeah, present for that me, meeting? they'll tell me what it was and then I'll go to the selectmen's meeting and it comes up. It's usually like the, more, more the first item or two on the agenda. And, you know, they they review the application. You know, this, we've been doing it for years now. So right. it's kind of, you know, they review the application and then they, you know, vote to give us a, a license. And okay. this is a repeat with the supplier, so yep. that should be it. Yeah. Yep. So, um, again, we're buying it from Greater Good this year. Um, they were our vendor last year. We need to do a field trip. Friday. Want to do it Friday? This, this Friday? Friday? This Friday. What time? Depends. Do you want to go there together or do you want to meet there? Can you do, first of all, can you do I'm Friday? Pretty sure I could do Friday, yeah. Okay. Can we wear our matching shirts? Ooh. Yes, we can wear those. <laughs> I haven't tried mine on yet, though. Yeah, a little nervous. Uh, I'm a maybe. I gotta check in. All right, check with Christine. So anyway, the time would be about seven, seven thirty. A.M. Got it. <laughs> no, that's what time you come back. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably go a little later. I could meet you guys there. You can. Eight o'clock? Yeah, I might be a little bit later. I could probably put my kids down. So you guys should go whenever and I'll... All right. If I can go, I'll go a little bit later. And so meet we'll, you meet up, time. we'll meet up at 7.30. Okay. And go up there, and then meet us up there. Save, eight, 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 save me some, huh? Save me some. Yeah. All right. Baron Wooster. Yeah. They're All right. Kind of like where I was at Greendale Mall used to be in that area, I think. Okay. They're up. They're up are kind of uh, like at the edge of an industrial park or something. Yeah, kind of where Greendale Mall used yeah. to be, sort of. Yeah, uh, so yeah it's a little bit. On the behind. other side of yeah. 190. Behind. Yeah, behind the Greendale Mall, there was an industrial park. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, they, they act, Greater Good actually opened in one of the buildings there. Okay. So, so Worcester Business Center, near Chick fil A. All right. <coughs> Let's talk about soda. Oh, yeah. It is right where the um, 190, 290 split mm -hmm. happens. There on the left side of that one in that two ninety in that industrial park. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I heard good news on the soda. Yes, let's move on the soda. <coughs> I think I'm good for Friday. 
Okay. Make bad decisions. So we can <laughs> we can all meet at seven thirty and we can all go together. Okay. Huh? Right no, there? I'd still have to stay home for I gotta stay home for bedtime. You gotta stay home for what? Bedtime. Bedtime. When's your bedtime? Seven for my daughter, eight for my son. Eight for your son? Yeah. All right, so you're going to meet us there? I'll meet you there. All right. Okay. All right, back to soda. Mm -hmm. so we have to... Um, we have to go through uh, putting this thing together. Yeah. Um, I've never done it, so... I've never really done it. Either. He's never done it. No. So, so we need... Uh, kind of like a practice of that. Yeah. Um, we need to get a list of the stuff together that we need. Um, now, we did say that we were going to get... <coughs> the only thing that I know that we added to that... I, uh, Keith had a whole bunch of stuff that was his that he put on that yes. unit. And I'm not quite sure what that was, yes. other than we used his um, CO2 tank. Right? Yeah, no, we rented a CO2. We rented it. Yeah. Keith rented it. Oh, oh. Keith rented it. Then. Yeah, we had two or three big ones because we weren't sure kind of what we were going to need or go through. How many do we know what it needs to go through? Again, Keith would probably know. I think it used a lot less than we thought it would. I think. One tank? I think mm -hmm. it was one tank. Yeah. I don't think they changed the tank. And then whatever the beer needed. Yeah, see, now... The beer is a whole different thing because um, Atlas, who's actually the distributor for Greater Goods, Atlas supplied all of that stuff that we used. Even the CO2? Even the CO2. Oh, okay. okay. So then I think the only thing we use is CO2. Keith got tanks for, I'm, I'm pretty sure Keith got tanks for the soda. But I want to say we used like a fraction of what he got, I think. All right. So, so well, he would be the person that would. Okay, so no. we're going to leave it to you to find answers to those questions. Steve should contact you. Okay, then... He'd send me his... Yeah. His <laughs> yeah. All right. <coughs> okay, and we're going to leave it to you to yeah. get answers to those questions. Mm. What do we need for CO2 tanks? He also had, like, a mixing tank for the water or something, right? Didn't he? Didn't he have, like, a, a keg that he... Yeah. That cre that yeah, I don't... I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It was. We had a chill. We had a chill still. That we iced. We had okay. the coolers. We I ran the thing through the thing. We carbonated the water in the keg. Mm -hmm. And then the keg went to the. To the tap. To the tap. Is generally how it went. It was water. It was from the the hose. The hose to the the hose to the spigot. That went through the chill, the the um, uh, the cooler. Where was the water sourced from? The library. Okay. Yeah, we have food grade. So hoses. we have a food grade hose that hooked to the library. The, some of this part I know. So the food grade ho hose hooks to the library spigot, right? Mm -hmm. And and it it comes in and it goes it goes through the chiller now that is a cooler that we had with coils looks like a still right and filled with ice and and that's full of ice mm -hmm. that's what we said last time it was too much ice too cold right because it'll yeah. freeze yeah it's just water because it's just water mm -hmm. yeah so so anyway that's the chiller then what happens is is it goes in on the top of the tank we have this special little valve that's supposed to um mm -hmm. uh carbonate water on the fly okay so so when it goes it comes out of the cooler it goes through that into the tank into the keg into the into the keg yeah I call it a tank I'm gonna call it a tank but it's really a tank. Okay. And then and then the, and then the, 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 the CO2 line. pressurizes the tank the, the keg the keg okay yeah the keg and, and then and that goes to the it goes to the spigot Okay. It's, just, so, it's just carbonated water. Yeah, it's just carbonated water in the in the keg. Mm -hmm. But the only carb what we realize is that uh, in order to get the carbonation high enough, water has to be cold, chilled. 
uh, the colder the water, the more CO2 it can accept. Okay. Which is why your soda gets flat if you leave it out. It's because mm -hmm. the temperature in part. Um, so that's why we had to get the water as cold as possible to Without accept. Without freezing. Yeah. To accept the CO2. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. <coughs> yeah. And then the booth that it's all set up in, that's currently in one of the storage we have containers? <coughs> well, no. Okay. We have the... Um, we have the, the bar that he made in the, in the unit. Mm -hmm. right? and that's just the plywood bar that we put together. I have a cooler at my house now right, because I had stored it. Um, I had picked it up from Keith and then I had stored it for the winter. And it's got the hoses and the taps in it. Okay. I also have a, the cooler with the still in it. So I have all of that stuff. You have the still? I have the still. And the cool and, and the, the cool and the and all of the, the hoses and stuff for the taps. Can you make sure well last year I think one of the stills cracked because I think it froze. So just double check because you've gone through a winter cycle, so I'll double check that it's still okay. Yeah. If if there's not it shouldn't, if there's nothing connected to it, right? The water, if it's going to expand, it would expand out? No, it would. that's not how that works. Okay. If, if there was, like say if there was water in the coil, Yeah. okay? Well, if there's an elbow, okay, in the coil like this, and it's full of water, yeah. when that freezes, it'll break, it'll break the elbow. That's probably what happened. Yeah, yeah just split it. So, check that it's not cracked, right. and then if, if it's not cracked, you'll be fine. We're not gonna ever thought. We're not gonna ever freeze between now and Oktoberfest. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, yeah, make sure it's not cracked. Yeah. Well, I'm, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna hook it up. I'm gonna hook it up to the ho to my hose at house and just run water through it. Mm -hmm. And then if I I can put pressure on it and see if it shoots water out anywhere, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like MythBusters. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You want to get the water not to freeze. And you'll send me Keith's contact info. It's just an email to you. All right. All right. So we're gonna. Josh's so then we'll need. Contact. We'll need to yeah. know what what pieces of equipment we need for that. Those are typically the things that Keith had supplied. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna have to know what that is so that. Um, and then what about the flavors and the. the okay. Well. Yes, I actually went through, we do have a, a stock of some of this. Actually, <laughs> the expiration date on it is past this Oktoberfest. I worked, I worked at them. So we can use some of the things that we had. Anything that we didn't open, we can use. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take an inventory of that, um, and then I will send you what we have. I, I, the, the flavors that we generally sell are cola, right? Root beer, orange. Okay. We go through this list like at least I, 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 every, I know, every but three but minutes. I, I, but I, you know, orange. Right. Yep. And then. That's it. Those are those are the typical main big ones. The right. Right. Would you do any others? Everything, everything else was, and then you need a diet sometimes. Right. Did you want mountain? Uh, right. I was gonna say, is that like a, a, a diet lemon cola. lime Mo mountain, one? Mountain um, mist. Mo mountain thunder. <laughs> mountain thunder. <laughs> there are people. Well, because that's kind of like Sprite. There are people that no, like no, that. No, no, but they, no, it's like. Yeah. Uh, but it's not. Do on a grassy mountain side. No. <laughs> the yellow one. No. You don't want the yellow one? I don't want the yellow one. All but right. the kids love the yellow one. Oh. Uh, you need the syrups, the uh, <laughs> the cherry and the vanilla. Yeah, so you need cherry and vanilla. What's oh, that for? Wait, isn't this also a moot point? Because we already have all the flavors. Didn't you say it's all we're all set? I didn't say we're all. I, I don't think we have orange. All right. So we have everything but orange? Yeah. And I don't, I'm not sure if we have... Um, I'm not sure if we have any diet. 
What's the cherry and vanilla for? What's that? Some people Ch like cola. to add cherry to their Coke. Cola, oh, cola, cola, cola. So what'll happen is, is that we don't like. It's we'll cola. have like, uh, you know, twelve containers of syrup for root beer, for example, mm -hmm. or cola, right? But we, you would buy one or two containers of vanilla syrup so that they could add a shot of that to their cola and have vanilla Coke or right. cherry Coke. Okay. More sugar, please. And then I will have to check cups. These were 20 ounce cups this time. Okay. I think that's okay. You're the one that made us change it from 16. Yeah, the yeah. 16s were too small. Yeah, 20s are fine. So 20 ounce cups. I think we have enough of those, but I'll have to check. <coughs> okay. Mm, um. All right, so as soon as you find out what's needed, mm -hmm. um, the CO2 tanks, when we find out how many CO2 tanks we're going to get, we'll just get those from Atlas. Okay. Right? Well, they'll, okay, they'll bring an extra? I, I, I tell them I have a soda thing that I want a couple of tanks, extra tanks of CO2. Okay. Then... Yeah, why not? Why wouldn't they? Sure. It's easy enough. You know? So I can, that way we won't have to deal with trying to get them there or whatever. It'll come with the beer. Uh, is is this um, is this soda concession like a a big a big money maker? It's a it, well, it's about to be. It it, it it so it broke even. It broke e well actually it made money made last money. year. Yeah. It broke even the first year. Okay. So the answer to that question is yeah, it makes money. We made even. And last year was kind of iffy for at least almost half the day, you know, like right. The weather was so crappy, but mm -hmm. on a hot day, yeah, if if we fun. we didn't really get going last year until ten thirty or eleven o'clock. We also had some pricing issues too. We had set a price, and the sales are really slow, so someone bumped the price down. And on the spot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. Like, of course, sales are going to be slow. It's 10 in the morning, right? But yeah. like 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, it's, it'll be cranking. Okay. Uh, Fortunately for us, it, it, it pretty much all of the material was, you know, that we had, all, not all, but a lot, most of it was, was already paid for from the year before. Right. You know? So. Yeah, it cost us pennies to okay. make yeah, so we, um you know, the first year we had, you know, we had all the taps and all of that. <laughs> four, four or five grand to get it up and off the ground. I was just gonna say, it sounds like there's there's a lot into it that. Yeah. 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 It was it was pretty it was it was pricey to get in because we bought we actually even bought a lot of syrup inventory because right. we didn't but know it, but what it was gonna do. It broke even on the first year. It but it did it broke even so on the first year. So then the second year, which was the last year that we did it, um, it you know, it, everything that we made was on it. Was yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it was like $2,000 or something. All right. And then the staffing of it, that's uh, another volunteer The thing. staffing of it is volunteers that have a tip jar out. I so tentatively have my nephew and his friends. Because he did it last year, yeah. right? Okay. And and it, it's kind of the same style that we do with the beer garden. Like I have bartenders that work in the beer garden all day, mm -hmm. and they got a tip jar out. Right. Wow. <laughs> Everybody, you know, they they do they do they do great with tips mm. at the beer garden. So. Okay. Um, I figured that, but I'm thinking like little kids going to get soda. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't do quite as well as the, <laughs> in the soda jerk stand. Yeah. And but they they. I guess they did pretty good with tips. No, they did okay. Okay. Well, last no, they did good with tips the first year. I don't think so. Uh, I think they, they, they did made like fifty bucks or something a piece. But whatever, mm -hmm. kids. Is your nephew wanting to like be there and and like be behind the the bar kind of thing, or yeah. is he okay? Yeah, I, yeah. I, he said he's in. Okay. So you know that's as good as a sixteen-year-old's word. Right. Uh, I got one of them. 
Yeah. So <laughs> he's like, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, I'll keep confirming with him and okay. let you know if that changes or whatever. Yeah. I'll try to get him to get a buddy. It was him and a couple buddies that ran it. Yeah, good time. And they did it the whole day? Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm dressed up in the... I remember white, they had a white shirt outfit, and, uh, yeah. thing. Playing the part. Playing the part. White shirt. Oh, we give them a red apron and a little red bow tie. And oh, they might need new shirts this year. Or, aprons or something. Everything got pretty stained. <laughs> Everything got pretty stained with syrup. So they might need new outfits. <laughs> oh no, not the, 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 the red aprons wash right up. Oh, maybe the shirts were the wrong. Well, yeah, but the shirts ain't ours. So right, it might have been theirs. Oh. He's going to come with a white shirt that's not stained. Yeah, right. <laughs> but we'll go home stained. Yes. <laughs> that $50, $50 tip. Uh, yeah. 25 to dry cleaning. Yep. All right, what else? What else? Um. Prizes. 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 We sent out a mass mailing um, before we left. Um, we do have some couple things that came back in, but I'm I think I had sent you a list of some people that I was getting in touch with, and then just some ideas of other local. You had sent me. Well, you didn't week. send me. You didn't send me a list. You sent me an I think email sent you, telling me that. I think it was like a text or something. Just yeah, because I wasn't going to be. I'm like, here's here's just some info. Yeah, we chatted about them last meeting. Yeah. We went through. Some of them were repeats. Okay. That we already had. Some of them were potential conflicts with current vendors. Okay. Or current, um, yeah, vendors. No. Um, people that we use. Mm -hmm. Our vendors. And then anyone that's doing sponsorships, like, what's the what's the timing of that? Like, obviously, we'd love to get the money in the house now, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because because what happened is is that when um, if they're going to do a sponsorship, and I gave you the the letter for that. Yep. Um, like we have Unibank and mm -hmm. Webster first, mm -hmm. and you know that sponsor like main stage or something. <coughs> what will happen is is we need to have them sign up on it so that we can have their banner or their sign made so right. that they can get credit. Okay. You know? um, All right. Because I did have some interest, and then I said, okay, well, I'll follow up as we get a little bit closer, because it was a couple of weeks ago that I had reached out, so yeah. I'll... Is it anybody that, uh, the interest that you had, is it anybody that we have existing already? I don't know. Where, is is there a printed list? I don't, th I think the ones that I brought are people that, like, I sort of know growing up that own their own businesses kind of thing, and they're uh -huh. somewhat local, which I don't think they would have been... Yeah. A, a sponsor previously. No, the ones the ones that we normally get are things like, um, you know, Unibank, Webster First. Right. Yeah. Um, and then I've reached out to a couple of the other banks. These are like construction companies. These are insurance people. Yep. Like they own their own yep. businesses and yep. stuff. I so. don't currently have any of those. Okay. There was one. Um, I don't know if it was just someone you were thinking of or someone you know, but um, was it refuse trash removal? It doesn't sound familiar. Okay. And then toilets. Yeah, those. Did those, you know a toilet guy? Well, right now, <laughs> well, those, those are called yeah. So trash removal and um, you know, portable port port mm -hmm. Okay. We have I have an agreement on both of those. Okay, both of those suppliers of both those things. That, you know, I I pay them uh, like a nominal fee. The rest of it is donation from them. Mm -hmm. So that I count them as one of our sponsors. So like Al's Rubbish, for example, okay? You know, they they provide all of the trash that day, mm -hmm. okay? Now, the the advantage of that is we give him a little advertising, we call him, you know, one of our sponsors, and and his his employee is one of my bartenders, <laughs> you know? So that helps out a lot. Okay. Um, so I, I wouldn't want to take a sponsor for trash Mm -hmm. That would hurt that relationship. Yeah. You know? <coughs> okay. The same with um, 
like with the porta potties. Porta -potties yeah. um, uh, Chase Harris has been doing our porta potties for the last eight years now, mm -hmm. and they give me a, a ridiculously low rate on them, you know, for the kind of stuff that we get, okay. and and they write off the rest of it as a donation to the organization. So, um, so yeah, I could, you know, if we get somebody that wanted to do that. The, the, <laughs> The problem is, is that we've got an existing right. relationship. There's a long, long relationship long that you don't want to jeopardize. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Rides. Rides. Next. Next. Right. All the rides are booked. Um, my barrel train's coming out again this year. Um, I don't have anything new as far as rides and games. Um, the plan is to put the um, trikes over in the parking lot again. Great. Um, what do you guys have ideas on that? The trikes or rides? Huh? The trikes? Yeah, the trikes. No, that's the only place we can put it. We did a walkthrough last year or two years ago. Oh, they were they were busy last year. Yeah, the trucks were busy. Yep. Anything new you want to see there? So a couple of years ago, Keith had an idea for a mechanical bull. Yeah. And I was against it because I thought someone might get hurt. But I have since seen what they do, and they it's um, a portable mechanical bowl mm -hmm. and it's like an inflatable mm -hmm. area around the bowl <coughs> so if you get thrown off you bounce you, you're in a bouncy oh. inflatable thing i wouldn't be opposed to that the way yeah. did you see said uh event <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was like like one of the mendon i think i think maybe like the mendon event had it or something no i can look around and see if i can find one because your ride guy is probably not going to have that. My ride guy does not have it. No. Oh. So that would essentially be like a like a, a ride vendor, right? Someone would have that <coughs> that whole getup. Would we charge? Well, we've you added we've way. added some things that aren't supplied by my ride guy. That's like like um, you know we've gotten we've gotten big to the point where we need two trains now because they just you know that the other train that we have. It, works and it's good and people like it and but you know it's constant all day and then mm -hmm. it's just not enough but so that's why I, I did the barrel train for the little kids and that was so now both trains are going non-stop all day um, so um, but when I added the second train our ride vendor didn't have a, a second train so I built one that we own uh, and you know so we the barrel train belongs to us okay also what happened is is that and you see the the knocker ball thing out there? Mm, I don't recall. He was skeptical when I first did it, but it, it, it's crazy busy there all day. And, you know, it's like um, bubble soccer. You ever see people play bubble soccer? Oh, yeah. Okay. They, so, they get inside so that and run into each other. So there's a company called knocker ball. Okay? It makes these bubble soccer balls. Mm -hmm. Okay, And I got two of them. Now, normally these things... Are a lot of money. They're you know they're like you know two or three thousand dollars each because they're really heavy duty to vinyl and stuff. But the company Knocker Ball, okay, um, they gave me a ridiculous deal on two of them. So th and so for a, a few years we had used fence posts covered with pool noodles, mm -hmm. you know, as an arena. Well, it, but after a while from banging those around. And, and the kids get in and they bang each other around and stuff, and they have a blast. Well, it's been popular, okay? So, um, so then what happened is, is we bought a blow-up arena for them to be in, okay? And we actually put that on. <laughs> and, and it's busy all day mm. from, from these, these kids that go in there and bounce each other around and yeah. the knockerballs. So then I called... Uh, you know, I reached back out to Knockerball Company and I bought two little kid versions. <laughs> because, you know, an adult sized Knockerball, you put a little, you know, six year old right. kid in it, he gets lost. Yeah. So I bought, I bought two little kid versions. Now, 
it, it, and that's it, right up on the, the it's main right up lawn, on the church right? lawn behind, yeah. it, it's kind of behind the ticket booth we put mm -hmm. it sideways behind the ticket booth yep. and I have some of my older kids like the older Eagle Scouts and stuff that run that all day and they okay. just kind of babysit really is all they do kids you know they they buy some tickets, they, they get in the knockerballs, they go in the arena and they <laughs> bounce each other around. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And they have um, they have a lot of fun. But this is it's just it's a popular event. It's like couples therapy. Huh? It's like couples therapy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so we can spin it. <laughs> um, so that has been pretty pretty popular the last couple of years. And then just just like with the big trikes, when we when we first did that, we had an, an adult-sized trike. Yeah. Oh, well, and then we bought little kid trikes so that you know you can go out there with your with your son and race around the track. So I found mechanical bull rentals. You did. Yeah. Uh, I think it'd be expensive. Hmm? what? I think it would be expensive. Yeah, they're um, very they're, expensive. They're going to be pricey to rent. One says starting at four ninety nine. Uh, well, how much? Starting at four ninety nine. Four ninety nine, five hundred. Five hundred bucks starting. Yeah. And then another one here says, um, this one is New Hampshire and Maine, but priced by the hour. One hour is seven eighty. Two hours is eight eighty. Uh, four hours is fourteen hundred dollars. Four hours. Yeah, but you, you're thinking about it the wrong way. Okay. okay. What I would do is I would reach out to one of these guys and have somebody come in and run it. Yes. Okay? And then split, split it with us. Because that way I don't have to set it up. I don't have to maintain it. I don't have to even run it. Okay? It's run by somebody that's an expert at running it. And yeah, but isn't that what they're they're calling out? Like, you know, if it's if it's... 700 for an hour or two no, hours. No, no, no. They come in, they come in and, and set it up and they run it all day. That's what they do anyway. Huh? That's what they do anyway. Right. You oh. can't, yeah, they're going to set it up and run it all day. Yeah, but I'm going to sell, but I'm going to sell tickets. Okay. All right. And so they make as much as they make and we get a, a piece of it. Or you just pay them the flat fee and then we make what we make the rest. Yeah, except that I'm not going to pay them eighteen hundred dollars to come and work and run this for four hours. See? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if they would do it. Hmm? I don't know if they would do it for that. Well, what? How much is a ride? Whatever we set it at. All right. I would. It, on something like that, you would have. What's uh, a ticket? You, Fifty cents. Well, you would sell tickets, so you're not handling cash. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So, so you would do, I don't know, twenty tickets, right? How much is the ticket? Fifty. Ten, Fifty cents. So that'd be ten bucks. Ten dollars a ride. Okay. And then what'll happen is, is however many rides they can get in in a day, or you know, however many rides they sell, mm -hmm. you they collected all that money, and we get a percentage. Be tough to. I think it would be tough to break even on it because it's one person at a time. Yeah. Right. Unlike all of our other rides, the trikes are four people at a time. The knocker balls are two people at a time. Mm -hmm. right. The bouncy yeah. houses are going all day, ten people at a time. Right. This is yeah. One person the train at a time. is ten people. Yeah. Eight people. This yeah. is one person at a time. It'd be tough to. Yeah. Just the time constraint, right? Like. Because even if you, even if they started, I don't know how long you, how long would you be on there? A minute? One minute? If you're lucky. Hmm? I mean, it's what eight seconds you're trying to last, but right. they have yeah. pretty low settings. I think you stay on there. And yeah, I think it's probably a, a a few minutes by the time you get into the thing, get onto it, get all ready to go, yeah, laugh with your friends, okay. and then so they start it. Two three minutes. So, two or three minutes. Sure. All right, so let's say, so you would say, I don't know, 2.5 minutes, right? Okay. okay. Per, per, per ride? Per ride. Okay. Yeah, so actually, be on the conservative side and you say three, three. minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have, 
Um, seven hours in the event. So you would be nine to four. Seven, right? seven hours. Seven hours. So seven times 60 is 420, 420 minutes. So seven times 60 is 420 divided by three. There's 140 people got to ride. That's that's at best, right? Right. So at ten bucks each, that's fourteen hundred dollars. And that's best case scenario. Right. That's yeah. every three minutes you've got someone ready to go. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be fun, but it's probably not worth it. So let's say let's say it grossed twelve hundred bucks, right? Right. At these rates, it wouldn't pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a new activity, and I think I had emailed Mary on this, was, um, you know, we're trying to think of something for, like, both the smaller kids, like mm -hmm. the younger kids. It's maybe not an activity, but, like, when you do those touch-a-truck events, mm -hmm. you know, the fundraisers at, like, schools and, and places like that where, you know, you have these construction companies and fire trucks and stuff that... You know, they'll they'll donate you know a certain amount to come in and bring their truck in, and then they're there, and the kids get to sit behind the wheel and you know touch the trucks and all that stuff. Thing with that is, it's usually like you know the big the big vehicles, which real estate is hard unless it's all up at the school. Which again, you're gonna miss a lot of the audience and all those are fire <laughs> the fire departments slinging dogs, uh, uh, police are running details, right. Those guys are yeah, all. a lot of them are construction vehicles, but then there are some that do, you know, emergency response vehicles and stuff like that. Construction but. would work. Where are we gonna put them? What about down behind um, Grill on Main, the parking lot, the lower lot? Can you get a truck in there? You could, but if these are, you know, if there's multiple big trucks, then that's going to be a real challenge. You know, the first truck will get in easy. After that, it's <laughs> real tough. That lot's pretty big back there. <coughs> I've had trouble getting my Tacoma in there when there's oh, really? <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> but uh, just something, I think, just something to think about. Maybe, you know, maybe it's a next year thing, but, you know, it, it could uh, be a, it could a be idea. something. So. I'm just trying to add something new. Are there other lots like um, what about behind the um, library? You could fit two trucks back there, maybe. Yeah. Well, we did find out with a library review that there's a lot more property that belongs to the library than we thought there was. Okay. Yeah. Um, they have a good portion of their backyard that they've taken to make a parking lot mm -hmm. now, um, but at you know there was a time when we had thought that a lot of that lawn that you know, between that and the, and the house back there, um, we had thought that a lot of that lawn didn't belong to the library. Well, we found out it actually it does. Yeah. So runs almost to the you know set of trees that are back there. So there's almost almost a parking lot again in hmm. grass there. So <coughs> so um, you know, conceivably we could put something there. Petty too. Yeah, we've done that before. Did we do um? <laughs> did we do cow petty bingo one year? Yeah, we tried that once. Uh, cow pie, yeah, cow pie bingo or something. Uh, yeah. What a pie eating contest! <laughs> we tried that one year. Yeah, we did a couple times. A couple times. Who did the pies? Who provided those? Table talk, table talk. Yeah. and they gave us like like 300 pies and we had three people sign up me and tony were two of them <laughs> i don't remember who the third one was so who won tony <laughs> it's scarfed on a pilot no one's business <laughs> anyways he likes so the blueberry he does Nothing new, huh? Not this year.
No, oh, we're doing the parade. The, yeah. um, the parade's going to be a little bit further. Yeah, a little different. Good. I think it'll. I think it'll be. Um, I think we'll get more of that. How about interactive? How about um, dance sensations? Are they doing anything? They're going to dance and they're going to do a show in okay. front of the stage too. All right. So they're not doing. They're not doing a parade though. No. Okay. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Anything else? What's a good time to reach out to Keith? I need a signature on that so I can pay. Is he like a morning guy, uh, after uh, after dinner guy? Uh, not um, <laughs> not for for nine o'clock. I get parked at by texting. Before, before 9 a.m. Before 9 a.m. Oh. What am I doing with it? Just put your name on there. I'm up early. I'll sometimes text him at 5 30, 6 in the morning. What are you doing? Whatever. This right here is, is that we have an electrical panel that belongs to us that's on the um, on the church lawn. Mm -hmm. The big panel. That's ours. Um, and you know, that was the Oktoberfest committee. Pleasant Street Pole. Um, we pay a minimum, even though we don't use electric, you know, it costs us $7 a month just because we have it. Okay. And then, um, and then Oktoberfest day, Right. <laughs> I'd use 50 bucks with electric. Right. <laughs> you know, so, um, okay. the way I would go. <coughs> what else did I need to send you? I need to send you bios. Yes, you're going to send me bios and updated pictures if they have them. And was that it? That's it. All right. Motion to adjourn. Second. I second. I second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Aye.